Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video. I'm very excited for today because we're going to get into January 2022. I was like, what should I do this pick a card reading on? I, at first I was like shadow work, but we'll save that for next year. Then I was like, you know, what are we going to manifest? Let's save that for next year. I kind of want to tap into the January 2022. 22 energy for you guys. So what I'm going to have you do is pick a pile number or a charm. So pile number one or the Kali Yantra. Pile number two, the Kauri Shell. Pile number three, the Rose Quartz Heart. Pile number four, the Purple Mojo Bag. Whichever one is drawing you in, whichever one is calling out to you, that's the pile for you. And then with that being said, if any of you are interested in this mojo bag, it is up in my shop. And we are having a sale right now, so head over there, check it out. And with that being said, let's get started on January 2022. Pile number one, or everybody that picked the Kali Yantra, I'm so excited for you. Because this Yantra talks about self-power. A lot of you, I think, in January are coming into your own authentic self. And that could mean a lot for a lot of different people. For some people, it's truly just standing up for yourself. For some people, it's finding power in your divine feminine nature. For some of you, it's really pushing through a huge block. Okay, so this is a very good sign. Also, if any of you are interested, these are 24 karat gold plated uh Kali Yantras, and I have them up on my shop. They sit with my Kali. They've been sitting with her for a while, and as soon as you purchase, it does take me one new moon, one full moon to charge it and send it to you, but I think it's just, it's so well worth it, so powerful, because I love this thing. I have noticed such a huge difference in my life, and basically it just helps you stand up for yourself and gain confidence and all of that stuff. And the cards that I see for you, pile number one, I see why you picked this pile we have the ace of cups okay the ace of cups is a lot of emotional energy here okay so you're being presented with some emotions next month specifically now what these emotions have to do with is the hermit card so a lot of you are going to be just going inwards a lot in january really like, I see you organizing your brain, organizing your mind, your thoughts, your life. A lot of just organizing. A lot of you in January are just going to want to be alone for a lot of it just because you are organizing so much and it's just, it's so therapeutic for you. You get to see your own light, your own confidence, you get to hear your own thoughts. It's just this outpouring of emotions from yourself and it's a gift that you give yourself after so long and I love it for you because you get to do it in a way that is so disciplined and organized. I feel like a lot of you are going to be just organizing your thoughts in such a way where it's so healthy for you. So be excited, look out for that in January. It could be a project, you know, that you're cultivating on your own. It could be therapy that you're having, which is just between you and your therapist. Whatever this is, it's just a very sacred, intimate way that your emotions is pouring out next month. And I love it for you. Every, um, every time I see a full moon in a card now, a lot of you may even think that's a dark moon because it's black. But for me, I see the full moon. Um, and the full moon illuminates. And for me... The Hermit card is saying that the full moon is going to illum illuminate s some sort of emotional bliss within you. And I want you to keep that in mind because I feel like you have had to climb mountains and mountains to get to this emotional state within yourself and you get to see it next month and I'm so happy for you, pile number one. 
The next card we have here is the Ganesha card, which is wholeness, which is also the heart chakra card. Heart chakra opening. Now, I love this for you because our heart chakra will not open unless we open it. You know, nobody else can open our heart chakra for us. That's something that we allow or we don't allow. And sometimes unknowingly we don't allow it. You know, if you hear that, that is my boyfriend working downstairs in the garage. He's drilling something. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear that. Uh, but, you know, a lot of your heart chakra is awakening back up in January, but it's happening in a very, very healthy way. Very healthy way. And I'm so happy for you. Like, that's all I could say is like, what I see for you, pro I, I don't think you could even fathom. So much outpouring of love, bliss, just emotionally, you feel good again. You feel good again. And that's what the Kali Yantra does. Sometimes people are afraid of it because she is like kind of like the tower card where it's divine intervention. She comes to take out all the bullshit, the illusions, okay, the lies, the things that do not belong. She comes to shake your world a little bit so that they can come out. And it's so good for your heart. And God knows you need you need some lightness in your heart area, in your heart space. I feel like a lot of you have just built this ice box around it, you know? And that's not good because look, you're being asked to surrender to joy. And in January, it's a very more joyous month than you have had in the past few months. And I'm very glad. A lot of you I see in January being lighthearted, responsibilities being a little bit lighter than before. It's just a lightness coming in for you and you need it. Pile number one, you need it. We have a love message right here. Rest and relaxation is essential. See? We all have a fundamental need to take a break. And that's the hermit. Is you just taking time for yourself. Taking time to go inwards. Taking time to do something you love. Like, what do you love? Do you like gardening, painting, coloring, cooking, taking baths, reading cards, drawing? What is it that you like? In January, I see a lot of you diving into it a little bit more, and it's so good for you. It's so wholesome for you. The last card that comes up for you, pile number one, is this black card. Find richness from the dark night. It's, that's, oh my goodness. If you guys work with Gali, give her an offering or work with her or if if not golly if you work with santa if you work with um dark goddesses like lilith this is the perfect time to work with her she's around you she her presence is around you it's this energy of like this dark goddess feminine goddess that just like your femininity your feminine energy becoming stronger and you needed it. You needed to cultivate that. And you needed to bring your feminine energy out because it was so suppressed by some sort of event or trauma or thought or habit or even a job or a relationship or environment, whatever it was. You're coming out of it. This environment almost, I feel like, made so many of you stuck in a fight or flight mode where your body was tense, you know, your shoulders tense, your jaw clenched. But January is different and you need this. And, and it, I'm so happy that you get to experience this joyous energy, this calm, this peaceful, serene, inwards energy where you trust yourself, you listen to your own thoughts. Oh my gosh, pal number one, just watch yourself in January. And if you have a Kali Yantra, use it light candles near it, give incense to it every Friday. You can offer it fruits, perfume, uh, keep it near your bed. You can light tea light candles on top of it. Um, if you don't have one, you could actually print one out on Google. Just Google Kali Yantra. You could print it out and use it. Keep it near you. See how you feel. See the messages you get in your dreams when you work with it, when you keep it near you. Um, if you give it jasmine flowers, jasmine tea, Kali loves jasmine. Uh, but if not, you can actually purchase this from my shop too if you're interested in uh, awakened and a worked one. But 
you guys are so intertwined and mingled with this dark feminine very strong energy uh, in January and I'm so excited for you I'm so glad it's something you needed and I'm very happy and excited for you pal number one thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very very soon for everybody that picked pile number two or the Cori shell, I'm very excited for you. I love Cori shells, what they symbolize, the feminine, <laughs> right? What does it look like? But it's so powerful. I keep my Cori shells on Shiva or Kali's altar. I just feel like it resonates so much with them and they each charge it differently and they each infuse it with their own separate energy. So let's see what comes up for you. Because there's two different ways, uh, there's so many symbols of this, so many messages that this shell brings. So let's see what it's trying to tell you. Okay, I love this for you, pile number two. I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. I wish this reading was even for me. Wow. I just looked at all the cards. Wow. Okay, um, eight of cups with the ten of swords. What a beautiful energy. If any two cards could pop up together... In any of my own personal readings, I wish it'd be these two. This is the ending of a problem. This is the ending of a struggle. Very long time type of a struggle that you have been dealing with. Okay. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh my goodness. Eight of Cups is you're walking away from something that was emotionally holding you down so bad. Okay, for some of you, it was making you depressed, anxious, worried, stressed, angry even. And you're walking away from something that just, oh my God, it gripped your emotions so bad. But you need to get excited and you need to get ready, okay? Because you're leaving it behind in January. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is also walking away. Killing something off that was draining your life force energy. Okay, a lot of you might have been suffering from libido, like loss of your libido, loss of passion, loss of any kind of excitement for life, any kind of inspiration or motivation. And I feel like this was a this was a phase you were stuck in for a while. But this Ten of Swords is coming next month to tell you that a lot of these fears were just in your head. And there was so much conflict be between your heart and your mind. And the fears were so strong in your head because it was so tied to your emotions. But mm, pile number two, it's changing. One thing I get from the shell is, you know, when the crab or like whatever's inside the shell, whatever life is inside the shell, it outgrows the shell and then it will move on to a bigger one that can house it better right? I feel like that's the transition that you're going to be going through. We have here, treasure your loved ones. So it's important to love others deeply. A lot of your emotional turmoil, pile number two, was that you couldn't connect with people and you wouldn't allow yourself to trust or just be vulnerable. And that's all changing. You get to experience your loved ones in a way that you haven't been able to in a long, long time, pile number two. And I'm very happy for you. And that means your loved ones, your family, your husband, your wife, your partner, your kids, anybody that you needed a deeper connection with, January 2022 is bringing that for you. We also have here clearing your energy. Yes, when your energy is being cleared, a lot of the time you, you see it. You know, people that don't align with you will fall away. The job that doesn't align with you will fall away. The house that doesn't align with you will fall away. So when an energy clearing happens, just realize that whatever is falling away, it's supposed to. You're cutting it out for a reason. It was draining your life force. It was holding you back emotionally so much. You outgrew it. You need a bigger shell. Innocence. A lot of you, I feel like, are going back into this 
version of yourself next month where you really bring out your inner child and your innocence and you just, you respect it. And you demand and you command respect for it. So that means a lot of you are going to let your values and your thoughts and your opinions be known and your boundaries be known. Because it comes from a very genuine place within yourself and you're just, it, you just don't want it anymore. You don't want people to cross your boundaries anymore because it, it makes you emotionally, it disturbs your peace, right? And it drains your life force energy. So you're coming back to that innocence of yourself where you, look, a child will let their feelings be known, right? I'm hungry. I want this. Or I want a toy or I'm, I want to play or I need to go poop, like, you know? And I feel like you go back to that innocence of yourself where you're like, okay, here's what my body needs right now. I need to take a nap right now. I want to play right now. Like, I just feel like you're going back to that innocence of yourself because you've outgrown this very serious nature that you trapped yourself into and it was just emotionally draining and also draining your life force. In January 2022, I see a lot of you surrendering a lot of your worry and I see that with these two cards. These two cards are so beautiful together. I love it. So a lot of you are just kind of, look again, she's on this swing. I see a lot of you spending more time with your family. Um, a lot of you I also see taking up an interest in knives. So you may want to buy yourself a knife. Somebody may gift you a knife or you may, you know, start doing rituals with knives. Um, get into like your kitchen knives for cooking or hunting with knives or I don't know how it is. There's so many different ways. But a lot of you are going to be getting into knives. And I love it. I love it for you because you find this newfound little passion and it's also something you use in your spirituality and for protection. And I love it for you because you've been in your feminine nature for so long. For you, I feel like it may not even be a knife. For some of you, it could be a form of protection like gun license, um, pepper spray, I don't know, learning how to defend yourself, something like that. It's just you learning um to protect yourself spiritually physically all of it and you love it and i love it for you and then the last card that comes up is a sapphire card regenerate your body this is why this energy clearing is happening so your life force energy was drained eight of cups is emotionally drained okay you couldn't even connect with people anymore your energy was so drained you were just worried all the time and your inner child was really suffering but the sapphire card tells me that your body is going to regenerate next month for a lot of you i feel like you're going to get into wine winery drinking wine experiencing wine wine tasting just wine is going to be a thing for a lot of you i see and also if you guys have sapphire bring it out wear it and if you guys are interested, then gift yourself Sapphire. Um, it's something that helps you regenerate your body. And if not Sapphire, then I would recommend and suggest that you really work with the color blue in January. And that means blue bed sheets, blue decorations, blue candles, blue herbs, blue tea, blue blueberries. Whatever you can find that's blue, work with it. Blue is going to be a really good color for you because your emotions are balancing and stabilizing and they're just coming into this very higher frequency and blue would be such a good color for you to work with. And with that being said, that is going to be your reading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. For everybody that picked pile number three or the rose quartz crystal, I have this feeling this reading has to do with love. Let's see what comes up. So I did pull some tarot and some oracle for you. Let's start with tarot. So we have the nine of wands and then we have the page of cups. Very interesting. I see new love coming next year for a lot of you. Now new love could, there's so many different ways that this could play out in a lot of your lives. New love could be a newfound self love that you find for yourself that you've needed, right? For a lot of you, it could be a, a relationship that you're in that just reignites, sparks back up. You know, the blocks are removed and it's just this 
relationship is able to experience itself again in its fullest potential. And then for a lot of you, I see new love coming in real fiery, okay? Now, the Page of Cups is this very childlike energy. And that means like some the beginning stages of something, very beginning fruitful stages of something. But the Nine of Wands is somebody that just felt defeated. and But they kept going. Very reliant person, okay? But also a very defensive person, okay? You feel so much passion, but then you, you self-sabotage sometimes. A lot of you defend what you love, but in the defensiveness of what you love, you attack the ones you love. Um, this card is asking you, do not give up in hard times because, it, because pile number three, it is your very own power and your own d determination and the way that you go to war if like if that makes sense that is your strength and in this case it's just it's gonna be cultivating and nurturing the beginning stages of something very beautiful and a page of cups is something very beautiful beginning stages emotionally okay curiosity you're feeding a curiosity sudden creative inspiration you might get an idea exploring something new new ideas feeding your brain opening your mind the page of cups is a very unexpected good news surprise type of an energy uh, it could be a marriage a new home a proposal a new project and for a lot of you you're opening yourself back up to intimacy you're very curious about intimacy you're very curious about sensuality uh, for a lot of you next month you know the, in in all of your fieriness i feel a lot of you craving that sensuality a little slower paced than the than the fast hustle that you've been used to and and you start the beginning stages of this slower paced energy and and i love it for you because it's so healing this rose quartz came to you for a reason you were drawn to it for a reason Rose quartz heals. So a lot of you, you know, that that hustle, that go, I feel like a lot of you have this very fast type of an energy, it, but it, it just wasn't natural for you. Maybe you had gotten accustomed to it for survival or you needed to do it to get the bills paid. But things are going to slow down a little bit and it's much needed for you. I also want to say the income's not going to slow down, but the work pace is going to slow down. That's what I do want to let you know. The next card that comes up for you is the Scarlet card, Attract Success. So next month, I want you guys to work with red and scarlet colors, scarlet bed sheets. That's so interesting, the rose quartz that you guys were interested, that you guys were uh, drawn to it, and literally the rose came. So work with roses. Rose perfume, rose petals, rose lotion, rose incense, rose candles. Rose bed sheets, rose decoration, however you want to incorporate it into your life, I think it will really help you. Uh, rose scent is very good. Red roses lift the vibration, which I think you would love. And then rose quartz, of course. I have rose quartz chips um, on my shop. I think I still have some left over. You can purchase some from me, or if you have a rose quartz, bring it out. Buy yourself some fresh roses. Surrender your defensiveness. Look at that. Defensiveness, defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out and then offer a clear, non-defensive response. I see an opening of communication here too. Relationships healing. Uh, it could be a reconciliation. And remember that doesn't mean just love. It could be you and your mom. It could be you and your dad. It could be you and your brother. There's a reconciliation happening in January for you that allows you to just release so many heavy ass emotions and you need that the next card that comes up is like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving i think you struggled with that pile number three you struggled with being more loving just because of everything you've been through but january teaches you to be so much more loving embracing of love experiencing more love this whole month has to do with love and I love it for you. And then the next card here, the last one, is empowerment. The solar plexus chakra. We have Ganesha here 
holding his solar plexus chakra. So a lot of you, okay, so solar plexus governs our happiness and our confidence. So how much happiness do you allow yourself to experience and why? And how confident are you and what are the blocks of how confident you want to be and why? Right? You tear it all down in January. I see a lot of you coming into this newfound confidence and it's so pure and so genuine and it's very high vibe and you don't feel the need to fight you don't feel the need to argue you don't feel the need to defend yourself you're just like so zen so completely comfortable with who you are that you don't feel the need to fight somebody to explain to them who you are because you know it so well why like why just let them be <laughs> And I love that for you. It's a peaceful month and a month filled with love and beginning stages of something very beautiful. And remember, like attracts like. So what you think about, you will create. So keep in mind, what kinds of things are you thinking about? And how much pleasure and confidence and happiness are those thoughts letting you experience your life? How, how are those thoughts allowing you to experience your life? All right, you guys, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. File number four, or everybody that picked this purple mojo bag, let's get into, let's start with the bag. So these are up in my shop right now for anybody that's interested after I explain to you what it is, but you can make it at home yourself. Basically, this is for the intention of dreams. So a lot of you, I feel like, are going to be tapping into a lot of dream work in January. But this one specifically I made for myself, uh, I was experiencing nightmares every day for about two years. Oh my gosh, I hated these nightmares. They weren't scary, but they made me revisit past trauma every night. And so I made this bag. And I swear to you, ever since I put this bag under my pillow, I have not had a nightmare like that. And so I decided to put this up in my shop. So all the ingredients in here, there's crystals in here, there are oils in here, and there are herbs in here and flowers and roots and all of that stuff that is meant for protecting you in your dreams. But not only that, sometimes our subconscious likes to tell us things, right? But sometimes it tells us in the form of a nightmare. I still want to know what my subconscious is trying to tell me, but tell me nicely, <laughs> right? And that was my intention for this bag. I want to know, but I don't want to know in a way that it terrifies me or makes me upset. You know, I want to know in a way that I can comprehend and heal and process. And that's another intention of this bag. Another intention of this bag is to connect with your dreams. Your, you know, when you're in the dream world, you get to connect with energies and spirits that you wouldn't necessarily hear in the physical world. So your ancestors, your spirit guides, deities, whatever messages you need to receive. This is all about that. And you just keep it near your pillow, under your pillow, under your mattress. Just make sure that your kids or your pets can't get to it because there's it's filled with so many different kinds of herbs and roots and all of that stuff. But if you wanted to make this home, so mine is filled with um, a bunch of things. But if you wanted to make this home, what I would recommend is using at least lavender, chamomile, and mugwort. Um, mine, I think, has over 20 different things in it, but those are the three that I would recommend if you wanted to make it at home. Keep it under your pillow. Keep it near where you sleep. So the first three cards that come up for you is Four of Swords, the World, and the High Priestess. Do you see how the High Priestess comes right above that mojo bag? You guys are tapping into this dream world big time. Okay, pay attention to your dreams. I want you to get yourself a journal and make it your dream journal. Okay, uh, what I would do is get a purple or blue one and I would get a purple or a blue pen. And everything you remember from your dreams, whether you think it's small, big, silly, whatever it is, write it down and then Google it. And most always it puts together a story and you start to see something. Uh, the world card. The world card is an end of a phase. It's a journey coming to an end. 
So, um, I don't know how that's going to be portraying to your dream world. But there's definitely closure you're going to be finding. And somehow it's connected to your subconscious and your dreams. Which I love that for you because when you heal something so deep within yourself, then the healing starts to seep into every other area of your life. Right? The Four of Swords. This is such an air sign. so Or not air sign, but air energy. So a lot of you are, be, are cutting something out of your thinking. Some There is a lot of subconscious transformation happening for you in January 2022. Your thinking is changing. Like, Swords is so much about thinking. And... The healing process for you has already started, but in January, it's amplified, it's kick-started. You're rethinking a lot of things. You're retreating. A lot of you are going into a period of rest. There's such an energy of just an ease of tension and anxiety and just putting something in the past. Now, the next card that comes up is the Divine Support. So you're going to be very divinely supported, very divinely guided. And that's all through your dreams. I'm telling you, pile number four, you better pay attention to your dreams. Lots of messages are going to be coming through. And your intuition is going to be very active through your dreams. There's going to be a lot of healing that's going to be happening through your dreams. Look at this. Divine timing, divine support. Something is coming in big time for you. And you're going to get to see it through your dreams. Pay so much close attention to your dreams, I swear. Whatever your spirit guides and your spirits and the universe is trying to tell you, it's all going to happen through your dreams. And after it happens in your dreams, I feel like it's going to happen in real life very fast. Like almost like a deja vu type of a situation. The next card that comes up is turn your heart light on. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. Okay, interesting. So I do feel like there is a huge reprogramming of your subconscious mind going in January 2022. And a lot of you are just going to be... I actually read a quote this morning. It said, I'm going back in my life rereading chapters in a way where I don't want to burn all my pages. Something like that. I had to say that because I feel like I, you guys need to hear it. And that's what you're doing. You're reflecting on times that you experienced before, but in a different way. Healing conversations are going to be happening in January. So keep an eye out for that. And the last card that comes up for you is the pearl connecting to the divine. Oh my, pile number four. Please do not take your magic for granted next month. You guys are connected to something I don't even want to, the, the word extremely is not even, I can't even, like, that wouldn't even describe it. You're extremely connected to something through your mind, through your subconscious. You are extremely connected to something, okay? Get your journal out, write everything down, okay? And protect yourself in your dreams and work with your dreams. You're so connected to the divine. Keep pearls around you. Uh, when you sleep specifically, uh, you could wear pearls. You could keep it on your bedside. Maybe you could gift yourself some pearls. Or maybe you're going to get gifted some pearls. Um, look at how many times the word divine came in your reading. Pal number four. I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> wow. It's a very lucky month for you. Very lucky month. Work with Ganesha energy. If you resonate, you could offer him something. Uh, and just anything you throw out into the universe in January will come into fruition. Watch. I'm telling you, just watch. And be careful, too, um, of your thoughts. Yeah. And if you guys are interested in this bag, head over to my Etsy shop. If, if not, then make your own with some mugwort, some lavender, and some chamomile. Of course, mine has a bunch of more herbs in it, but those are secret. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I, I'm so excited for you. And I'll talk to you very, very soon.